Oh? Oh, hello. Well, it's always stressful to share an elevator with a stranger. I love your flannel. Still, it could be worse. Hey, Jun, I could have to share it with my sister. Oh, no. <laughs> Diane. Or Dien. Okay, I'm kidding. We love each other. Oh, okay. Well, then why aren't you the one on the forms? Why did she forge my signature? Love giving each other a hard time. <laughs> I love giving her a hard time. For instance. Hey, Didi Do. Nothing? Oh. I mean, it's just. My blood sugar's low, okay? Come with me to the cafeteria. Uh, sure. Yeah. But if you utter that stupid nickname one more time, I'll strangle you. Well, we're in a hospital. There Calm it down. Is. She <laughs> me worried for a sec. It is kind of a situation. Oh, oh. This food looks nasty. Did you notice? Jan loves being in charge. I suppose I don't always like that. It started when she was a teenager. Ah, that's when it always starts. Some people get acne, she got authority. <laughs> the two A's of ad adolescence. So, Three A's. How's work? Ah, oh, you know, uh, scheduling, phone calls, spreadsheets. It's mind-numbing. There's no time to think. That's why I love it so much. <laughs> how's your script coming along? Oh, uh... Uh, we've been kind of busy. <laughs> script? I never should have told her about it. I guess I had a moment of weakness. I thought she would worry less about me if she knew I was working on something creative. Worry? But why did I even think she was worrying about it in the first place? She doesn't seem worried now. She can be doing the stone face, the like you said. And how are you? No, we should... Ah, we should be honest. How are you? <laughs> and how are you? Well, since you ask... So no, she knows. She could tell you change the I subject. Was doing good until yesterday. One of my idiot patients up and groped my ass. Oh my god! Diane's job. She's a physical therapist, working with professional athletes. Oh. And they're creepy. She spends her days massaging pretty boys with two brain cells and zero self-control. Sounds about right. She's the best in her field, I've heard. All the major soccer clubs are fighting over her. Probably oh. because she has her own story. Story? She almost became a tennis pro at 17 years old. She was really strong. But... And then there was some pff, kerfuffle. I don't know what happened, but the league didn't have her back, so... Oh. She just gave it all up. I've never seen her so angry. I wonder what but happened. today's a close second. I wonder what happened to that guy who was stupid enough to grope her. Probably strangled. Uh, what happened? What happened? I handled it with poise, aplomb, and composure. Did you punch him in the face? Anyway, he has a broken hand now. Yeah! Good thing he plays soccer, not volleyball. The worst part is, she's not joking. Well, you deserved it. Don't grope people. That's nasty. In other news, this place is so stressful. Everyone's way too nice. It is a hospital, Jan. I know. They should be scowling 24-7. <laughs> so, how is she? Um, I haven't been to see her yet. We can do it. What are you it. waiting for? A singing telegram? No, we're just... <laughs> Sorry, that was uncalled for. This whole situation, it's just... A lot. Yeah. Yeah? Sounds like there's something else. What's the matter? I'm, wa I'm something looking... Something else bothering you? No, nothing else. Oh, that was a quick I'm answer. There's something else? Hmm. Well... I guess, um, I did meet with the doctor this morning. You did? She told me about your deal between mom and you. And to be honest, I was shocked. Were you going to tell me at some point? I knew it. Oh, what deal? Ugh, see? I knew that this whole trusted advocate thing would never fly. The only question is, will she believe me when I tell her I didn't know? Given the state she's in, I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, no, what's the matter? Oh, did she want to be the advocate? Uh, uh, look, I'm sure you're upset. Look, I'm sure you're upset. Of course I'm upset. 
We just found out that mom might die. Does that mean nothing to you? I was kind of forced into this position. It's okay. I'm handling it. You know, I'm perfectly capable of making this decision. Just leave it to me this time. What's going on, June? Uh, be I'm honest. Tell the truth. Wrong. We should tell the truth. It could be the grapefruit. I read somewhere that it's really toxic. And, no, uh, it's not the grapefruit. I don't recognize you. You're different. I may or may not have time traveled. Oh no! Ooh, she wants to talk. Seriously. Seriously. That's just her way to cope with stress. She needs to dissect things to understand them. And she needs to understand things in order to control them. So, what's the play? Idiot or goldfish? Or we could just be honest? <laughs> Uh, 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 goldfish? Maybe if I say nothing, she'll leave me alone? No, that's not gonna work. And don't what? pretend you can't hear me. I am a goldfish. I guess I can get out of this one. <laughs> no, I don't think we can. You're acting like, like some kind of robot. You're all closed off. Listen, things are you difficult. You clearly aren't considering how I feel about all this. No! How I feel. Oh. Uh, what's the game here? Where's the gen I know? This is a she different situation. She's lecturing me as though nothing happened. I'm not gonna lie, she's not entirely wrong. Why not? I haven't exactly been brimming over with empathy recently. It's not my fault, you know. It just makes it easier to get through the day. For me, at least. I'm not sure how anyone else manages. Okay, maybe I am a little bit distant. Okay, maybe I am a little bit distant. But have you thought about my situation? What about ism? See? That's exactly the problem. And, okay, this is going to make me sound like, like a huge asshole yet oh. again. Oh no. I'm used to that. Oh, ouch. I've been meaning to talk to you about this, so... So why not do it now? I guess... Might as well. You're here for mom. And, and you can see how hard this is on me. A and yet, here we are, yet again, talking about you. Oh, no. What happened to you was awful. It really was. Absolutely horrible. What happened? But that was five years ago. Five years? It can't be five years. Can't be? It can be five years. Five. It can't be five years. Years. It was only yesterday. Why the hell is she bringing this up anyway? Where are you going with this? What what happened? Where are you going with this? I I don't really know. I guess I'm a little worried about you. I don't understand what goes on in your head and and that scares me. Why are you like this? Whoa, really? whoa. She's worried about me? Oh, I missed it. You had to go there, didn't you? Yeah, why are you like this? That's such a mean thing to say. You had to go there, didn't you? you? You really, you can't help yourself. Whenever you can't control something... Whoa, whoa, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. And so, pow, you attack. We're making it You're worse. Wrong, Jin. I'm just trying to help. You, you can't really tell me that everything's fine, can you? It certainly isn't. Do, do you think that throwing my little problems back in my face is going to help? Oh. Oh, wonderful, wow. Oh, it's a miracle. I'm cured. Thanks for the therapy session, but I really have to go. Obviously, uh, you can handle everything just fine on your own, so go ahead and take care of Marie. Oh, no. Wait, June, don't leave, please. Oh. I'm sorry. I really need you. I... <clears throat> oh, no. Things are falling apart. I really am a dumbass. Yeah, why'd you say that? Why are you like this? Dumbass. <laughs> you guys are so sisters. Honest? <sighs> Should I be honest? Mm, do I have to? You have to. I just grabbed the first opportunity to put up a stink so I could get the hell out of there. Oh no, of come I'm on. Rude. And I can see how that might freak her out. Are we gonna crash again? Not again! No! She wasn't telling me that because she cares. That was her lashing out to hurt me. No, 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 no. 
Is this what happened five years ago? Oh god, here we go again. Okay, can we click on something else? Or is it this again? Nope, it's not that. What's that? Come here. Come here, let me click on you. Seashell. You know, Astrid, memory is weird. You suddenly remember these moments without knowing why. For instance, one day I, I visited a fishery. This oh. was a year or two ago. I was writing the script for a promotional documentary about lobsters, a freelance oh. gig for the Agricultural Chamber of Brittany. Truly the crowning moment of my career. Although for real, I, I loved writing it. It felt good going outside, meeting people. Oh. Lobsters are fascinating animals. They are. They're really Shall cool. I tell you what I remember. Tell me. Are we are we back? Oh, we're back. Okay. All right. What have we got? Take me to the lobster town. Wait, I saw something fertile. Female lobsters may lay over one hundred thousand eggs in their lifetime. Dang. They keep each clutch underneath their tails for several months, and when the eggs finally hatch. Out come a profusion of lava just a few millimeters long. Can you imagine? Over 100,000 tiny little astrids. Oh, Astrid is the lobster. All right, let's see. Hmm. Safe. Lobsters have a chitinous exoskeleton. A durable and tensile material that protects them fully. This natural barrier is so strong that lobsters have no natural predators. In short, no one can mess with lobsters. Except humans, of course. Unfortunately... <laughs> Alright, what about... I didn't realize that it moves on its own if I don't mess with it. Oh, poor lobster. Can I t Is there anything over here? Not that I can see. Immortal. Lobsters are a mystery to science because they don't age. Their cells replace themselves perfectly, which allows them to never stop growing throughout their lives. Who knows how old the lobster might be? Oh, no. Oh, loved. Everyone loves lobsters. Their exquisite and delicate flesh is prized by the finest gourmets. I've never had lobster. Garlic, butter, lemon, or mayonnaise, they're delicious. They're on every great chef's menu. Lobsters are a symbol of wealth and luxury. They're also our god. In real life. That was the official line. The one I got paid to write. Oh. But I dug deeper. You can call me a lot of things, but I'm nothing if not conscientious. I learned a lot about lobsters that the Agricultural Council wouldn't have approved of. Ugly truths we'd rather hide. That's how it goes, unfortunately. Let's see, let's back up a little bit more. Hmm. Alright, any sign of anything? Hmm. Poor lobsters. Doomed. Female lobsters may lay over 100,000 eggs in their lifetime, but few will reach adulthood. The lava will be gobbled up by passing wildlife. The young ones will be poisoned by water pollution. Their livers filled with heavy metals and microplastics. Oh, and we're those just... who grow big enough will be plucked out of the sea by humans to end up on a fishmonger's stall. Oh, we're just so great for the environment, aren't we? Alright, anything up here? Hmm. Pray. Lobsters have a chitinous exoskeleton, but sometimes they feel trapped in it, so they molt. They leave their shells behind and expose themselves. Oh. Until their skin hardens again, the world is full of predators. Carnivorous fish, other arthropods, and humans, of course. Always humans. Because when they've just molted, when they're soft, lobsters are their tenderest and their tastiest. Oh.
Hmm. Rotten. Lobsters don't age, but after a while their shells do. And if they can't make a new one, their current shell will wear out. It will split. Bacteria, fungi, and other diseases might seep in through these cracks. And then the lobster will rot from the inside. Poor lobster. Cooked. Everyone loves lobsters. But to truly love them, first you have to cook them. And to cook them, you have to kill them. There are two ways. Traditional or modern. Uh, what's traditional? The traditional way is to chuck lobsters into boiling water. Alive. And wait. Yeah. The flesh burns. The air bubbles beneath their shell expand and burst their organs. It's horrible. Lobsters don't want to die. But the people who love them don't care about that. Oh, ow. <laughs> That's not nice. I wonder what the modern way is. I think you kill them before? Oh, let me go back. Ah, in my head. All this to say, being fake, writing pretty lies, that doesn't bother me. Oh. Between my clerical work for Marie and those PR gigs, I learned to tune it out. No one wants to know what's in my head, but maybe you do? Alone. Everyone loves lobsters, and that love is what's killing them. If no one loved them, we'd let lobsters live happily at the cold bottom of the ocean. Lobsters don't need to be loved. Me neither, to be honest. Hmm. Where else? Searching. Searching for something. Oh, alone. Lobsters don't age. In fact, they could never die at all. If they just stayed in their holes, they'd never get sick. They'd never get harvested or trapped. Unfortunately, lobsters grow. Maybe that's the big difference between them and me. Hmm. Oh, oh. Alone. Lobsters have a chitinous exoskeleton that limits their growth. As soon as they shed it, they're in danger. Their enemies notice their weakness. They can smell it, like sharks smell blood. If they can reach a weakened lobster, they'll devour it. They'll tear it apart and feast on its flesh. I don't want to be eaten. Oh. I'm getting what's happening. You have a shell to protect yourself. It's hard to be vulnerable. Alone. Female lobsters may lay over 100,000 eggs in their lifetime. And they'll never watch them grow up. You might think that the sea is salty from all the tears shed by lobster mothers. But they don't cry. What good would all that sorrow do? True, it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world out there. Or lobster-eat-lobster -lobster world. Hmm. I feel nothing. You know, Astrid, memory is weird. You suddenly remember these moments without knowing why. That's what it said before. It's trying to teach you something crucial. That day, I learned that I needed to be stronger than a lobster. To never molt. To never get eaten. To just hide in my hole. That's no way to live, though. To never cry. No. That's the only way that I could keep on living after you died, my little fawn. I don't want anything. I don't expect anything. I feel nothing. Oh, and we're back. The time rewinds again. Why are you like this? 
I feel nothing. She's right. I have been weird lately. Honestly, I'm glad she noticed. You're right. I am? Because I was starting to think that I was just being a dumbass. In an alternate timeline, you were. You're totally a dumbass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can't just bring up Astrid's death out of the blue and throw it in my face. Who's Astrid? But you are right. With her gone, something inside me is broken. I'm guessing not a lobster? I just don't feel anything. Everything just slides off me. I'm... I'm Teflon. Sealed off. Like a damn lobster. A lobster? It's all, it's you're right. hard to explain. It's been five years already. But I'm still trying to figure out how the hell I'm meant to reconnect with my life. I understand. I mean, I know I can't understand, but... You're trying to. I think I get it. Is there anything I can do to help? Mm. I don't think so. Well, you can keep on beating up idiots, but that's more of a oh, public service yeah. than for me specifically. You can do that. Break more you hands. <laughs> you know, who's Astrid? I admire you. <laughs> sure you do. You've always been the sensitive one. Sensitive? That's classic Marie right there. I'm sensitive. By which he means weak. Not strong enough for no. the world. Well, Obviously I pale in comparison to the formidable Diane. That's me, so fragile. No, that I don't think that's what she means. She means that you're in touch with your emotions. Yep, that's me. So fragile. That's not what I mean. Mom raised us to bite before we get bitten. That was the only way out she could see. And I guess I took her literally. But you weren't like that. You knew how to listen. You got people. You were less scared of them. I always loved that about you. Aww. Uh, that's new. What the hell do I say to that? I love you too? <laughs> uh, uh, uh. That's the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Maybe let's not say anything. Anyway. Maybe this is why mom chose you. Uh, we didn't have and a choice. Back. I would have liked to been talked to about it. Are you bitter right now? Ooh, okay, this is the only option we have. Are you bitter right now? <laughs> certainly not. Uh, certainly no. No, I mean, guys, please. No, you're guys, you're please. Look at your fucking face. Up, okay, stop it. This isn't the time. I just don't get it. What is there to get? You know, Marie, she's unpredictable. Wait, you mean you didn't know? No. Well, you should see what my signature looks like on the form. It was not me. <sighs> she's the worst. Why would she do that? That's what I want to I know. No idea. I guess she thought it made sense since I handled the rest of her paperwork. Unless she thought I was a perfect fit since I'm a Libra with Pisces rising or whatever. Libra, right, still, fellow Libra. It's a big responsibility. And it's a bit weird to ask you, of all people, to make that decision. What is that supposed to mean? Stay calm, stay calm. Uh, what am I supposed to do? Scream in the middle of the hospital cafeteria? Ah! That's not my style. Although, the way this day is going, it might become my style. Yeah, there's a lot I happening today. Clumsy. Oh. You can't cook a meal without setting the house on fire. Will you anymore. stop? I'm never <laughs> going to live that down, am I? Depends. Have you figured out a safe way to brown baked Alaska yet? Hey. Whatever. This isn't the time to rehash all that. Hmm. Really, I don't get it. This is so important. Why would she trust you over me? What is that supposed to mean? All right, I've had enough. Trust me. Oh, it's gone. You know what? Are we leaving again? You know what? You're right. Only an idiot would trust me. Off we go! Oh, come on! Yeah, here it comes. You're the reliable one, aren't you? The one people can always count on. What are you talking about? Ugh, I'm out of here. I We're leaving again! A ventilator or something. We wouldn't want that to happen now, would we? No, you're being ridiculous, you know. Please, sit down. I didn't mean to upset you. Oh, you didn't? Well, you got that wrong. Oh, gosh. Uh, Here we go again. <laughs> Stupid. Well, that was embarrassing, wasn't it? Uh, I just can't help it. So mom wrote my name instead of hers on a worthless paper. What does it matter? 
No, not again. Jen and I are stuck in this stupid competition. I hate it, but I feel I can't escape it. Oh, look at those sheep. No, dear, why? Every time. Maybe this has something to do with Astrid, too. Okay, we've got, we did the bird. We did the shell. What next? The pills? Oh, goodness. A lighter? What is that? Oh. Uh, of course I'd remember that day. What happened? My infamous 25th birthday. The day we met Jan's girlfriend. Oh! The day we danced a little, ate a little, and drank too much. We do love but the alcohol. All, the day everyone went home early because I set the kitchen on fire while making dessert. Oh no! There's plenty about that night I never told Jan. All right, here we go. Let's see. Oh, Alex. Alex called several times that night. He wanted to know how things were going. He had a hunch things would be tense, and he wanted to be my emotional hotline. That's nice of him. Sir, I wanted to fend for myself. <laughs> it's why I didn't invite him in the first place. I'll admit, sometimes his support was stifling. Yeah, sometimes people can be a little too much. Oh, the baked Alaska on the floor. How did it get this bad? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, look at the book. Exuberant. Jen always loved being the center of attention. But when she showed up with her hair cut short and dyed green, I almost didn't recognize her. 19 years strong on this earth, and she couldn't care less about people's opinions. She was amazing to me, but I wonder if she was, at least unconsciously, trying to please Marie. It worked, by the way. Marie always had a soft spot for the rebels, and contempt for the rest. The rebels? I don't think it made Jan any happier, though. I mean, pleasing someone your entire life isn't going to make you happy. You have to please yourself. Be happy for yourself. Candles coming out. It was the first time Jan introduced us to her girlfriend. Her very first girlfriend. Oh. She didn't make a big deal of it. She didn't even tell me that she would have a guest. Surprise! I knew it was important to her. And neither Marie nor myself reacted appropriately. Oh. What did you do? I was furious. It's stupid, I know, but I wanted to enjoy my party. Oh. And she showed okay. up with something you know important what? to share. That is understandable. Said my 25th birthday seemed right. Unimportant. In fact, from the moment Diane and her girlfriend arrived, I no longer mattered to Marie. She rushed over to hug them both. I don't think I'd ever seen my mother so excited. Then she congratulated Diane for her rejection of patriarchally mandated heteronormativity. That's a mouthful. Diane didn't say anything, but I could see she was upset. Oh. Her intimacy had just been reduced to activism somehow. Her girlfriend was called Sasha. She was nice, intuitive, smart, and very pretty. But then the baked Alaska happened. Yeah, I can understand where she's coming from. Because even though, like, to do so, that seems a little inappropriate to, like, be like, oh, this is my sister's big day. I'm going to make it all about me. Even if she didn't mean to, it's still, like... I don't know. <laughs> I was quite reluctant to organize this party. You don't seem it like a party the party type. Day I would celebrate at Marie's. Your dad and I were about to move in together. Your dad? So I wanted to make it special. To impress my mother. Earn her respect. Is Astrid your daughter? Admiration. But that would only happen if everything were perfect. Perfection is a lie. The fire made it a complete failure. But to be honest, she'd have found some problem anyway. Clumsy. I'd got these nice candles to decorate the table with. Obviously, I burned myself when lighting them. To no one's surprise, that was typical me. Scavus, they called me. It means clumsy in Latin. 
Marie coined that one. I didn't mind. Quite the contrary. In any family, everyone plays a role. You just need to find the one that suits you. And I like being the bumbling, fumbling one. <laughs> that way, at least, the pressure was off. That's true. At least you're not trying to always impress people. Gift. I wasn't expecting Marie to have a present for me, and yet she remembered. Remembered? I'll be honest, I was super happy. But as usual with Marie, things couldn't just be nice. Uh, I hope you like it because it costs me a fortune. That's what she said when she handed me the bottle. Did you like it? I hate whiskey. Oh. I hated it then, I hate it now. She could afford it too. She wasn't world famous yet, but her career was taking off, and with that, her taste became more and more luxurious. Me? Oh, I was light years away from all of that. That's how it works with Marie. Even when she does something for Jan and I, in the end, it's always about her. Oh. Not even the right gift. Ah, oh, the fire! You know, maybe- Oh, accident! The flames went up very high, very quickly. Everyone ran into the kitchen. Marie, Diane, and Sasha. Sasha. She didn't say anything. I just saw her wiping her lips as she came into the kitchen, and she looked at me funny. I said it was an accident. I was trying to brown the baked Alaska, but it got out of hand. No one questioned my version of events. The whole thing was just classic me. Oh, but Alex something- Alex wasn't there to defend me, and I just sucked it up. I never saw Sasha after that day. She and Diane broke up a few weeks later. Oh. So was it an accident? Oh, concern. When Dina started, Marie turned on the charm. She laughed loudly, talked a lot, asked all kinds of questions. She has the most unbelievable charisma when she's trying to please someone, you know? And that night, she really was trying. I thought it was odd. She certainly wasn't doing it for me, or for Diane. And then I noticed the way she was looking at Sasha. I saw the glimmer in her eyes. The same as when she talks about Japanese whiskey. And I got worried. Oh no, I don't like where this is going. Wasted. I was so stressed out that night that I started drinking early. Marie loves to drink, so does Diane, and her girlfriend Sasha followed along. Long story short, we got drunk fast. All four of us. We had booze, we had cigarettes, plus the other stuff. Weed? I don't have to tell you everything. Oh, come on! And after a while, Dan was completely out. She could barely stand. Oh, Close. So, yes, Dan and I were trapped in this ridiculous rivalry. The choir girl versus the rebel. The meek versus the indomitable. Choir girl? I'm never taken seriously. She's not allowed to show any sign of weakness. And we hold it against each other. But as soon as we lower our guard, we are saddled with the obvious. The obvious? It's become more intense as we grew in Mary's shadow. We care about each other more than anyone else. Aw, oh, well at least you have that. You're probably the only two who understand what you both went through, being raised by the same person. Hmm. Hmm. Let's go back to the fire. The hellish flames. Look at that baked Alaska. Oh wait. Stop. Maybe I was just drunk. Maybe I was imagining things. Maybe I was paranoid. Did you steal your daughter's when girlfriend? Marie invited Sasha to her studio to see the paintings and more. Ooh, oh. That raised the flag. She was up to something. She was trying to seduce her. And maybe she could have. I tried to warn Diane. Told her to watch out. She was too far gone. Far gone? I had to do something, but I couldn't face <coughs> Marie head on. I wasn't strong enough, so I improvised. Was that the fire? Hmm. Improvised. What does improvised mean? Whoa! <laughs> fire! Oh, arson! No one noticed.
noticed the bottle of Japanese whiskey was completely empty. Alcohol burns nicely on the stove. It was perfect for me to craft a diversion. And you know what? I wasn't even that drunk. I was mostly angry at oh. Marie. At myself. Why yourself? At my inability to confront her face to face. Uh -huh. Maybe nothing happened after all. Maybe Marie didn't try anything. I'll never know. But I was scared enough for Jan's relationship that I set the kitchen on fire. That's quite a ways to go for your sister. So the mom really tried to steal- I mean, I know this isn't technically a partial event- like, partial discussion of events, but if that's true, that's awful. You come out to your family and you have your first girlfriend and then your mom tries to steal her? Baked Alaska. Hmm. Oh, that's broken. fire in this house oh trust me I never told Diane what happened she still thinks I'm a bumbling idiot I can't tell her the truth and she wouldn't want to hear it anyway but what I did that night I did out of love Marie always said that you can't trust anyone in life hmm. well in that moment whether she knew it or not Diane could trust me Oh, off we go again. That was what the thing said that disappeared. It said, trust me. <laughs> Why would she trust you over me? Trust me. And here we go again, trying to see who can spit the furthest. But you know what? I'm not playing this game. She needs her sister today, not a fight. You know, I get it. Get what? Why you think of me this way? <laughs> The chump who keeps screwing things up? I never... I understand because that's my little routine, you know? What are you saying? Secrets. What's wrong with me? I'm not about to tell her all my dirty tell secrets. Tell her! That wouldn't be like me at all. Tell her! Although I guess this is a pretty good day for confession. It is! Tell her! It's not easy existing between Marie and you. <sighs> it's not easy existing between Marie and you. Between the overbearing artist and her gifted little go-getter. <laughs> so, I figured if I played the klutzy dits, I wouldn't need to compete with either of you. If I'm so gifted, why the hell did I choose this grapefruit? <laughs> this thing's disgusting. Why did you choose only a grapefruit? <laughs> That's my didi do. Open your heart a tiny bit and she gets all Oh, she changed the subject. Silly, silly. I told you it's toxic. <laughs> Understand this. We both know things can be tense between us. Tense. It would be easier if I could act like this is all her fault. It's not, though. Jan's competitive spirit is unmatched. She has to be the first in everything. It can make her a little stupid sometimes. <laughs> oh, just like when she was training for tennis, or when we did hamster races. Hamster? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Racing hamsters. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> we had these hamsters for a while. We won them at the village fair. Oh. Marie hated them, but we were. I got an achievement for that. Out of her sight. And Jan always wanted to race them. Race. Hers was really slow. It lost every race. It was an embarrassment. Uh, she had this whole training regimen, but it wasn't enough. So she brought out the big guns. Oh, no. And one day, her hamster was hyped to the max. Absolutely smoked mine. And that night, he died. Oh, my God. It wasn't hard to get the truth out of her. She'd fed him coffee drops. Good Lord. She was kind of sad, but not really. At least he went out on a win, she said. My God, I yeah. like I wasn't anything like her. But that's not true. I just pretended that I didn't care. Didn't care. Truthfully, I also wanted to be the best. At the very least, I wanted to best her. As if we were always competing with each other. And it was exhausting. It sounds like it. Some days it was hard. Some days it was hard. But whatever happened, I've always, always tried to protect you. I don't need anyone's protection. Yeah, it sounds weird when I say it out loud. You're the strongest person I know. <laughs> 
And you're built like a sea cucumber. Hey, they have excellent defense mechanisms. Look, all I'm I could shoot out my intestines if I wanted I to. I was always on your sides when it mattered. Are you talking about mom right now? Yes. Not just her. Yeah, I'm totally talking about Marie. Jeez. <laughs> of course we're talking I'm about I'm talking her. about the fact that you're my sister, and that's special to me. And I know it's the same to you. Listen, Jan, I have no idea how things are going to play out with Marie. And it's true, I have been feeling out of it for a little while now. But I do know one thing that's going to help us. What do you mean? I mean that being a psychopathic robot has its perks. Cool heads prevail. And I think this is going to help us make the right choice. The best choice for Marie, sure. But for you and me, too. Maybe. Why are you looking at me like that? It's just... I'm not used to seeing you like this. Oh! You sound confident. It suits you. Aww! Alright, so, what do we do? I don't know! <laughs> no idea, but I'm not going to tell her that right now. Um... Tic-tac-toe? We need to find a different tack. Hmm... Your mother, right now there isn't much we can do? Maybe that would be better to say. Right now, there isn't much we can do. The dog sounds like she knows what she's doing. They're putting her through a battery of tests. They'll figure things out. So, I think we will have to wait and see. I can't. No, I, I just can't. I'm not going to sit here twiddling my thumbs. Sometimes that's the only thing we you can do. A choice, Jen. Of course we do. You're just gonna kick the we door down? To stay on top of the doctors. They need to do their absolute best. They are! Come to think of it, we're not keeping her in this hole. I'll call my dad. I'll bet he'll have a buddy in a private clinic somewhere. We're not leaving anything to chance. Good lord. Why aren't you saying anything? You're with me, right? We need to fight, don't we? I don't think we- I don't know, Jan. What do you mean, I don't know, Jan? If, if we were in her place, you know very well what she'd be doing. She'd do everything in her power to make sure we pulled through. I don't know about we'll that. that as well. Don't we? I can't take any more illusions of control. Oh. Oh no. You d you can't always do something, you know? You can't always do something, you know? Running around all over the place, yelling at doctors won't help her just because we think it will. It doesn't work that way. It never does. Sometimes... You just need to let go. Let go? Oh. Uh, let go of what? I don't think that was the right thing to say. Maybe this is why my- No, stop talking! <laughs> she knows that I can keep a cool head. That I don't let my emotions take over. Bullshit. You think this isn't your emotions doing the talking? You go on and on saying that mom is the worst mother ever. Do you seriously not think you share some of the blame? Maybe a what? little bit. What do you mean? <laughs> You know very well what I mean. She could have died in that car. Oh. Could have died. Marie was also in the car that day. You remember my little phone? That day? I can't remember why. She was going to town for an errand, I think. I parked in front of her house. She sat in the front, and then... She was by my side when I woke up in the hospital. Oh. Jan's right. Marie could have died. And the doctor said that this sort of thing can happen due to trauma from years ago. Oh. So it's all my fault then? So it's all my fault then. Are you saying that? All of this is happening because of me? Of course not. But since the accident, she's given you work. She's done her best to help you. And you, you just want to let her die? Shit, I'm not going to give up on her. If you hate her, that's your problem. You're out of your damn mind. Oh, come on. You're so transparent. Shut up! I don't want to hear any more of this. I'm leaving. Off we go again. So the accident is what we're going through over and over again. Freak out. Damn it. Did I really have to go off like that? Maybe she's right. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. We should fight. Just like Marie taught us. Oh no. Do I really have to be so angry? Do 
I really hate my mother? So Maria was in the car with us right when this happened. Oh God. <laughs> 